Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for today's Gentle Fit class. My name is Sherry and this class is going to be a full body workout for those individuals that have less mobility. All you're going to need is a chair and a set of hand weights and we're going to get started with our warm up. We're going to start stretching out all those muscles that we're going to work on today, starting with your neck. Just gently drop your head down to one shoulder, and then we're gonna go do the same thing on the other side, just nice and gentle movements from side to side, just stretching out the neck. We'll do it one more time. Great job, everybody. Let's go to the shoulder roll. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears and then bring them forward. Nice and slow, gentle movements to get us warm and ready for our workout today. One more time to the front. Great job. Let's go to the back this time. Bring them up. Bring them back. That's it. Nice full range of motion. One more time to the back. And then we're going to do a little chest stretch and a back stretch. We're going to start rounding forward, opening up the back, and then start to bring your chest forward. Open up your shoulders and your chest, and you're just going to go back and forth. Again, getting us nice and stretched out, warm and ready for our workout. Let's do that one more time. Round your upper back, lean forward, and then open your chest and your shoulders. Great job. Now let's take the arm across the chest. Maybe wiggle your fingers, rotate your wrists, get them ready for the gripping of the dumbbells. We'll do that same thing on the other side, just hugging that arm. Give a little wiggle, a little rotation. Great job. And then I'm gonna get you to hug in one knee, stretching out the glutes, the back, the lower back. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, just hugging it in. We'll do it one more time on each side. Excellent. Now I'm going to go to a light march just on the floor. March it out. Now your hands can be on your chair or you can pump them to your side. Feel free to go with whatever pace works for you. We're just warming up the body, marching it out. That's it. Using the music to keep us going today. If you want, we can start to go out and in with that march, just opening and closing. And if you want to slow it down, you can do a little half time, opening up, narrow march again. One more time on that half time march. And if you're ready, we're going to go a little faster, going out and in, out and in. That's it. Four more, three, two more times. And we'll stay in, march it out. Working those upper body muscles as well. Just pumping your arms to your side, warming up those shoulders. Great job, everybody. Four more. Last two. All right, let's take it to a toe tap. Just press your toe into the floor. We're gonna warm up our ankles as well. If you want to increase your range a little bit with those arms, you can start to reach out and even add a little rotation. That's it, side to side. Now, can you take it to a, toe, a heel tap? Just digging that heel into the floor. Bringing those toes up towards your shins. Feeling a little bit warm. <laughs> Four more here. Four, three, two more of those heel taps. And if you want, you can take it to a kick. Lift up that foot right up in the air. And you can take your reach to a little bit more of an, a, a punch forward, getting a little bit of resistance training, just using our own resistance as you reach across. That's it. Just nice light kick to start. Beautiful, let's do four more of those. Last two. 
All right, I'm gonna put my arms down. I'm gonna take it to a little lift with the knee. Just lifting that knee up. And again, feel free to go whatever pace works for you. We're just looking at warming up the body. That's it. Just side to side. If you wanna add a little reach across, do a little tap on that opposite side. Again, a little rotation, warming up our spine, that midsection. And if you want, you can even reach a little lower if it's there. Get a little flexibility work here. Four more, just like that. Go four. And three. Two more times. All right, let's take it back to our kick out. We're gonna add that punch back just across the body or directly out towards me. Great job, everybody. Four, three, two more of those kicks. And now let's take it back to the heel on the floor. Dig your heel. Bring your toes up towards your shins. Four more, just like that. Go four, three, two more. And then how about we go to that toe tap? Just press your toes into the floor. That's it, everybody. Great job. Four more toes, four, three, two more. All right, let's take it back to that march we started with. Go march. And just pump those arms. Again, whatever pace works for you. Four more here, go four, three, two more. Now we're gonna go out and in right here. Go out and in, out and in. That's it. Four more out and in. Go four and three. Two more times. Now can you go half time, slow it down. Go out, out, in, in and do it again. All right, we're ready. Let's go a little bit quicker. Go out and in. That's it. Working on a little reaction time. Changing our pace. Four, three, Two more, now we might add some arms, just reaching out, bringing it in, go out and in, out and in. Again, whatever pace works for you. Four, three, two more. Now can you go a little slower, go out, out, out and in. Again, we're reaching out and we're pulling back in. Four more. That's it, last two. We'll do it one more time. All right, we're gonna stay with our normal march. Hold it here, march it out. All right, we're gonna get started with some resistance training. We're gonna start to work those legs, work on some functional movements of standing up from a seated position. So if you need to use your walking aid or another chair in front of you, you can grab that now or you can have your hands on your thighs. And we're gonna start to push our hands into those thighs. We're gonna come all the way up. Push your hands into your thighs to come all the way down. And again, take it at your own pace. Take it at whatever speed is gonna work for you. That's it. Coming all the way up and then all the way down. Using that walking aid if you need it or another chair that's secure or pushing your hands into your thighs. Great job, everybody. Doing this together today, all the way up and then all the way down. Can we do two more times up? That's it. One more time up. Great job, and we'll meet in the chair all the way down. Now I'm gonna get you to grab your hand weights if you're using weights today. Now we're gonna move upstairs to the upper body. We're gonna start with our chest and our shoulders and we're just gonna have our hands out to our side with or without the weights. We're gonna bring our arms together and then we're gonna open them out. In and out. Now if this is too much, feel free to drop those weights. Work with your own resistance to start. And if you want, you can always drop your elbows a little bit lower and that might feel a little bit better or you can bring them up a little higher. Four here, in and out. Getting that range of motion. 
That's it, last two. We'll do it one more time. All right, let's go a little slower. Go three, two, and then go a little quicker out. We're gonna work on a little reaction time. Two more. Anytime you need a stretch break, they're free. Go right ahead. Last one here, and then we're gonna bring it all the way together. Hold it there. Can you lift it up and down? Trying to focus on those elbows together. Four, three, two, last one. All right, if you're using weights, we're gonna put our weights down. We're gonna start just to uh, wiggle those fingers, even opening up your arms to the side, just feeling a little stretch in those muscles that we are working on today. Great job. We're gonna start now with a lunge. We're gonna start by standing up in our chair. I'm gonna meet you on the side of the chair. And we're gonna hold onto the chair. So with that inside leg, we're just gonna step it back and it's gonna depend on your comfort, how far it's gonna go back. And we're gonna start to go downward. So like we're picking something up off the floor. So again, you're gonna pick your range and we're gonna go down and up. Here we go, down, down and up. Again, knee and ankle, they're in line. If you feel any pain, you're gonna adjust your movement to make it work for you. See if we can do four more of those down and ups. That's it. And if you don't need your chair, you can let go. Or if you need another piece of support, you can grab that. All right, we're gonna take it up and just shake it out. We're gonna take this lunge to the other side. Same thing here. We're gonna take that leg that's closest to the chair. We're gonna swing it back, get in our position, and then start with that reaching down and then coming back up. Reaching down, coming back up. Picking that range that's gonna work for you, but you're almost like picking something off the coffee table. So trying to work with a little bit of functional moves that can improve our life, make it a little bit easier. That's it, down, down. And again, if you need more support, grab another piece of your walking aid. Four, and up, three, that's it. Two, we got one more down. Great job, everybody. We're gonna take it back down in our chair. And again, moving from the downstairs, the lower body to the upstairs of the upper body, we're gonna grab our weights. And again, you can use your own resistance. We're gonna move from the chest to the back. So we're gonna start to work on our upper back. It's gonna help our posture. Having your weights just down to your side. We're gonna hinge forward just a little bit and you can take your legs out wider keep them there, whatever works for you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide our forearms up towards our ribs and then reach down to the floor again. I'm just looking slightly ahead and the focus on squeezing our shoulder blades down and back. Now you can adjust that range of motion depending on how that feels, rowing it up, Extending down to the floor. Great job. Squeezing it up. Reaching down. Using that breathing to help support our spine. So exhale up. Inhale down. Great job, everybody. Bringing it up. Reaching down to the floor. Whatever range works for you, squeeze it up. Let's do two more of those rows. That's it, we got one more up. Great job. So now I'm putting my weights down. I'm gonna give my fingers a little bit of a release. Maybe my wrist as well. And a little stretch for my upper back. That feels good. We're gonna take it back standing, just behind our chair. And we're gonna work on the smaller muscle groups, the calves. So holding on to your chair, we're gonna start to lift our heels up and off the floor. So lifting up off the floor, 
and then all the way down. That's it. Little soft bend in those legs, A little squeeze at the top, and then all the way down. And again, pick that pace that's gonna work for you. Anywhere from 12 to 15 repetitions is what we're looking at today. Looking at gaining some strength and some endurance. Let's do two more together. One more here. Great job, everybody. And a little mix up of sitting in the chair versus standing up. But if you need to stay in the chair with those calf raises, you can just lift the heels right up on the floor. You can even place your weights right on top of your thighs. So you can feel free to go to those options if you need to. Next exercise is a little rotation for our waist. I'm gonna grab my weight, but if you want to, if you don't have any weights, just interlock your fingers and you can follow along. So starting with your hands over on one side, we're gonna rotate to the other side. So playing with that range of motion, so going up, reaching across your body. Great job, four more, up, up, down. Up. Let's do it two more times. Up and down. All right, let's change our pace. We're gonna go slow. Three, two, and then go quick. That's it, three, two, quick, down. That's it, reach. Quick to the hip, one more. All right, we're gonna stay down. We're gonna take it to the other hip now, so again, Get yourself ready for the exercise. Make those adjustments where you need to and then go up, up to the other side. See how that feels. It feels a little different on this side. We just wanna correct any kind of imbalance. So we'll get this other side just the same. Lift, lift and lower, lift. Two more. We got one more and then we're gonna start to slow it down. Go up slow, go three, two, and then that quick one down. Three, two, two more just like that. We got one more time. All right, we're gonna keep that weight down. Again, just give yourself a little release with those fingers and maybe the wrist from gripping that dumbbell. And if you want, we're gonna hold on to the chair. We're gonna to start to work on the front part of your thighs. Just lifting the leg up and down, up and down. And again, if you wanna tap the floor each time or just hover over the floor, see how it feels? Feel that quadricep, that front of your thigh. We're gonna strengthen that thigh so it takes a little pressure off our knees. Four, three, two, and last one. Bring it up and hold it there. Just give me a little hold at the top, and then we'll take it all the way down. Just give it a little shake out. Get yourself ready for the other side. Again, shoulders over those hips. Knees and ankles are all in line. We're gonna start lifting and lowering that other side. And again, a good opportunity to just check in and notice if there's any differences on that right and left side. Up and down, tapping down or just hovering over the floor. Four more here, go four. Three, two. Now take it up and see if we can hold it, just that little hover. Great job, everybody. All right, we're gonna take it down. Just give it a little shake out. How's everybody feeling? A great workout today. We're gonna to start stretching out all those muscles that we worked on. And again, maybe we'll start with our neck stretches, just dropping our head down towards our chest. Just feeling a nice stretch.
down through the mid part of your neck and down through your back. And then taking your head to one side, you can even hold on, put a little gentle stretch down through the neck. And then we'll release, we'll go to the other side. A gentle stretch down through the neck. And then we'll release. Now see if you can open up your chest towards the ceiling. Just open your arms. And then we're gonna reverse that stretch. Interlock your fingers, push forward, round that upper back. And then we'll bring our arms back down. And now let's do a rotation stretch where you're putting one hand on your thigh, one hand's on your chair, and you're just gonna look behind yourself. And then we'll come back to the center. We'll do that same thing on the other side. One on the thigh, one on the chair, just looking behind. And then we'll come back to the center, moving down, extending one leg out. Hands are on your thigh. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, see if you can slide your hand down your thigh. Feel a nice stretch in the back part of your body. And then we'll slowly come back up again. We're gonna take it to the other leg, extending out. Hands on the thigh, big breath in. Exhale, slide down, big stretch. And then just slowly come back up. Again, let's just give a little wiggle for those fingers, the wrists. You can even bring your palm out, press down on your fingers, stretch up through that forearm and the wrist and the fingers, get a little release. And we'll do that same thing on the other side. Sometimes just gripping those dumbbells. Wears out those forearms. And then just shake it out. Let's take a nice deep breath. Let's reach up if you can, over our head. And then just slowly, we're gonna come forward. Just slowly. Just stretching out the back. Just sort of letting it go. And then we're just gonna slowly drag the fingers up, the legs, come all the way back up and just roll your shoulders down and back for that great posture to finish up. One more time, all the way up and all the way back. Congratulations everybody and thank you so much for joining me in today's Gentle Fit class. I hope to see you soon.